Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also let's not forget about their new Star Wars universe as well as their overall approach to the new movies and TV shows that will be arriving on Disney Plus as well. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one exciting aspect of Star Wars is that yes, we do know that they are now on the road to success. You know, with The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 6, I must say they did a fantastic job with that particular chapter that was directed by Robert Rodriguez. He did an amazing job with Boba Fett, uh, Din, Grogu, Moff Gideon, all these different aspects that were really inserted into this new episode. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars right now, as we speak, is that Lucasfilm is really trying to bank on many of the fan favorite characters. We're talking about Ahsoka, Luke, Anakin, Kenobi, and others out there. So we've seen that they are working on the Star Wars Kenobi series as of right now. Uh, they are actually doing some pre-production work before they begin the significant principal photography phase in March of next year. So with that being said, of course, what's really exciting all has to do with the character of Ahsoka Tano ever since her debut in live action form in Chapter 13 of The Mandalorian by Rosario. And just one thing I gotta say is that Rosario Dawson really nailed it as Ahsoka Tano. Some people would like to say that her voice is a bit lower. I would like to say that it kind of matches up with her being older. So on top of all of this, with the new Skywalker saga over, of course, the sequel trilogy, both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films as well as their new Star Wars universe. It's explained that currently Lucasfilm is indeed focused on the character of Ahsoka Tano, portrayed by actress Rosario Dawson and the future of her in live action form. Now it's said that Ahsoka Tano is set to meet Luke Skywalker portrayed by actor Sebastian Stan in The Mandalorian Season 4 and that Favreau is indeed planning to introduce Luke's Jedi Temple under construction on the unknown world that Ahsoka will travel to in order to meet the son of Darth Vader. So let's stop right there for a second. Now this is a very interesting touch to, of course, you know, the character of Ahsoka Tano. Now, the thing about Ahsoka is that we got to see a lot of her in Star Wars Rebels and especially in the latest in the latest um, season of the Clone Wars as well with Darth Maul. A lot of fans just loved how she was used by Lucasfilm. Now, the fact that we have Luke coming back into the equation here into the Disney Star Wars universe being done by somebody else, Sebastian Stan in case you guys have no idea who he is. He portrays, he actually is in many of the Captain you know, America films out there, the Avengers films, I should say. And ever since his debut in Winter Soldier, a lot of fans just loved Sebastian Stan. So, he plays the Winter Soldier, that's what he's most known for, but Disney wants to give him a shot as Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian. And this is a similar situation to what was done with Rosario Dawson. Rosario's pick by Lucasfilm was primarily done by the fans. The fans are who requested Rosario to become a live action form of Ahsoka. And Jon Favreau listened. This is the very guy that actually listened to us. And the same exact thing here is happening with Sebastian Stan. Even Mark Hamill agrees that Sebastian is the best fit. So Sebastian has already been in the talks with Lucasfilm and is already in the hiring process for season four because season four is already getting worked on alongside with season three. Now on top of this, it's described that Luke in season four is set to give Ahsoka Tano a lesson or two about the truth of the dark side of the force since Luke has been studying of the truth of the ancient Sith and more. Sebastian Stan is set to also have action in season four and that Favreau is going to actually use Ahsoka Tano as the key to delivering Luke knowledge about the rise of the First Order and the remnants of the Empire that will be heavily discussed in Season 4 of The Mandalorian. Now, Ahsoka is also said to be the one responsible to let Luke know about Palpatine's plan for the clones and even an attempted new clone army using the Snoke clones. 
So that's a very interesting touch to the franchise, without a doubt. The fact that they are going to be tying in the First Order, which by the way, I think that some fans may not like that, which is okay, that's fine, because I understand it's a reminder of the sequel trilogy, and a lot of fans just want to forget about that, so I understand that. But to me, I think it is smart to at least explain the rise of the First Order, the rise of Snoke, Palpatine's involvement with the clones, that's all going to be integrated into these new seasons of The Mandalorian. We've seen that little tease there of what appeared to be a proto-Snoke in the last couple of episodes of Season 2, so you can see where things are starting to go for the franchise. They are creating ties, if you will, to the sequel trilogy as well as attempts to fix Luke Skywalker entirely. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.